I've just learnt of a new craze sweeping the internet, ASMR. Well, it's actually not new, but it has been becoming very popular of late. For the uninitiated, ASMR stands for Autonomous Sensory Meridian Response. It's basically described as the relaxing, tingling sensation that one feels in the back of their neck when they hear a particular sound or watch a particular event. I know what they're talking about. When I was a boy, I used to experience this relaxing sensation when I went to get a haircut, but only when the barber was using scissors, not when they were using clippers. Another one that I experienced this very day is when I'm sitting in the car and somebody is using a squeegee to wipe the windows clean. I don't know why I find it very soothing and relaxing, I just do. That's all very well and good, but of late, lots of young, attractive ladies have been dedicating entire channels to ASMR. Some of them do fairly innocuous things like wrap presents, fold paper, or flip the pages of a book. Some of them eat food or drink, or brush or stroke their hair. Others make sounds with their lips and mouths, or lick food off their fingers. Some go even further and role-play various situations, such as getting a medical exam or going to the dentist. But pretty much all of them whisper into the microphone. I watched a few with my wife just to work out what the hell it was all about. But we both came to the same conclusion. Most of the sounds we found incredibly irritating. Some of the videos even left us feeling physically repulsed. Now that's not to say that everyone experiences these videos in the same way. I'm sure there are people who genuinely enjoy them. But my hunch is that slowly, ASMR is sliding into the world of fetish, if it hasn't already. Why are most of the top videos of beautiful young women? That's not a coincidence, is it? Surely their audiences must consist largely of voyeuristic men. If it was only adults doing this, I wouldn't bother making this video. However, recently, there's a growing trend of younger girls performing ASMR. Take US teen McKenna Kelly, for example. She's only 13 years old, but has already amassed a lot of followers and made a lot of money in the process. I watched a few of her videos as research for this video and then realised what was going on. This isn't about ASMR anymore. This is about cashing in on the sexualization of young women and girls. McKenna's most popular videos include eating raw honey off her fingers, pretending to be a rude and sassy flight attendant, pretending to be a dentist, dressing up as a rather provocatively dressed police officer and pulling you over. I don't care what people say. These are no longer innocent activities. ASMR proponents will argue that ASMR is not a sexual sensation. And I agree. It's not. They'll argue that the intention of their videos is not to elicit arousal, but purely to make people feel that relaxing, tingling sensation. However, let's be real here. Do we honestly believe that 12 million people are watching a 13-year-old girl lick honey off her fingers just so they can experience a tingling in the back of their necks? I call bullshit on that. Most of the audience members would be perverted men getting their jollies from watching underage girls doing sexually suggestive activities. After my wife watched McKenna's honey licking video, her first question was, how can her parents let her do this? I'm sure if McKenna was in a public park with a circle of men around her watching her lick honey off her fingers, then her parents certainly would not agree. In that situation, I'm sure the police would be called in. But within the confines and safety of her own bedroom, and the fact that there's a large amount of cash rolling in — I've heard estimates of between $50,000 and $100,000 a month — then her parents have clearly turned a blind eye. I guess they think they may as well milk the situation while it's still allowed. YouTube community guidelines dictate that videos should not include any nudity or sexually explicit content. They work closely with law enforcement and report child exploitation. Furthermore, harmful or dangerous content is forbidden, especially content that could bring harm to children. I would argue that these ASMR videos featuring provocatively dressed young girls performing somewhat lewd acts is going against YouTube's own community guidelines. Some of you might argue that children are completely safe in these videos, but what if said children are walking down to the local shopping centre and a few of their fans approach them looking for a show? It has real potential to get dangerous. Can a 13-year-old handle strange men coming up to them asking them to eat a banana in front of them? I'm not trying to be a stickler or a prude here. I understand we live in 2018 and certain things have become widely accepted. 
I'm all for people expressing themselves, but I can't understand how anybody could agree that a young girl licking honey off her fingers and being watched by thousands, if not millions, of voyeuristic men is in any way harmless. Let's not be intentionally ignorant. ASMR has become sexualized. If it was purely about the ASMR tingling experience, then surely it wouldn't matter if it was a 13-year-old girl licking honey off her fingers, or a 50-year-old man. I certainly don't see any 50-year-old men with millions of followers and views. Maybe that's a whole different fetish. What's your thoughts on the ASMR craze? Are they just innocent girls making harmless videos with the goal of making their viewers feel relaxed? Or has it become a legal outlet for perverted men to watch young girls doing questionable things? Let me know in the comments below.